It's cool that Andre and Shirley are getting married again. There's a whole generation of viewers that didn't get to see the original. Let's hope it's more of a bail than a Kilmer situation. Second one is okay, I guess. If I had to rank them, I'd go fourth, seventh, second, fifth, first, third, sixth. No, wait. First, then fifth. Got it. Fourth, seventh, second, first, fifth, third, sixth. When's our culture gonna outgrow this wedding thing? You're anti-wedding now? No, oh, she's just pro-anti. No to everything you both said. Weddings are like little girls' tea parties, except the women are the stuffed animals, the men are making them talk, and they're not drinking tea. They're drinking antiquated gender roles. Somebody tell Britta what an analogy is. I know what it is. It's like a thought with another thought's hat on. Look, I can't get behind this marriage thing either. It was invented back when till death meant till you're first cold. I mean, life's too long to spend it with someone else. It's a sucker's game. It's a mutual cop-out. I mean, just nut up and die alone. Mm. Hello! Oh my god, oh, I'm so happy you for are you! Glowing. I know, isn't it exciting? The rehearsal is in two days, and the wedding is the day after that on our anniversary, and I'm sure you all can make it because you're already here. You're having your wedding in the study room? Our church has certain policies regarding things like second weddings and tight jeans and calico cats. Um, Jeff, I was wondering if you would do us the honor of giving a toast at our wedding. Good idea. Jeff has a lot of thoughts about marriage. I would be honored. Mm. Shirley, do you need any help with your wedding? This probably sounds silly, but every time I see a wedding idea I like, I put it in a little scrapbook. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Give me some more time and